Hey, what's going on everybody? It's going to be a speed run today. It is supposed to be 110. It's about 1030 right now. Um, it says it's 88 or 90. It's going to take the infrared thermometer. Just uh, throw that on a couple of things outside. Surface temps of things are between 100 and 150 degrees. And it's, like I said, it's not even hot out yet. So, um... Like I said, just going to do a speed run, nothing uh, overly exciting going on except for it's been 110 plus all week, it's going to be like that till midweek and then it's supposed to only be in the low 100s. Hey, you know what, you take 10 degrees uh, less wherever you can get it. Um, <clears throat> so just real quick, playing with a 3D printer, so I printed the, I don't have the old one so this goes in the top of the tower and keeps it from bubbling up so I took the existing one which is really thin and bumped it up and that seemed to do real well um, saw another model actually I modded the original one no, sorry this is the original one where is the other one so this is the original one you can see how small that was There was my first attempt, and it came out really well, a little off-center, but was looking around, and somebody had taken the existing one and made it, it was like this tall, and I'm going to print it out and see how that fits, but, so I basically, I sized this to what I had done, but whoever had remodeled this added a little more support right down in here. Anyways, so, I am going to probably put that up on the various sites um, as a remix, because that works for me, but I'm going to try out the taller one. Talk about remix, so somebody had commented on one of my videos, hey, somebody actually watches. Thank you. Um, I think the username was like, you know, don't cancel me, bro, times two, and some other numbers. Anyways, so he said, you know, I wish whoever had built these spacers. Now, I did it with the small spacer because that's what I'm assuming someone was using. And said, you know, when I put these between the two towers, the two sections, it doesn't make thing or it makes things line up instead of stagger them. So... You have the trees this way and the trees this way, so they'd be both together. And if you have things hanging, it doesn't really align that. So I could understand that. Um, I could also say, oh, a little bit of OCD, but that's okay. Uh, we all want what we want. So I said, hey, you know, and he said, well, I don't know really how to do it. And I don't know either, so I just kind of hacked my way through. I cut the model in half, and then I rotated the top. So this is the spacer with the top rotated 180 degrees so that should get you your stagger and then when i was looking somebody had done it with with this part where you've got all of the the holes and everything so i'm like huh that's actually cool because that gives you support in the middle and slows the water down depending where you put in the spacer so I took that one and I cut it and I spun it. So I'm going to put these three items up as remixes sometime today or tomorrow. Um, so I'll do probably a quick uh, YouTube short and throw the links in there. But that is what's on the agenda for tonight, tomorrow. I actually took tomorrow off. Um, but good inside stuff to do. So, all right, now speed run for outside. Let's see if I can get this down before the AC comes back on. It actually died mid afternoon on 4th of July. It was rough night, fortunately. They were able to come out about 10 30, 11 o'clock the next day. They just swapped apart. The they were here maybe 10 minutes, and, you know, obviously. It took a third of a day to get it caught up, but uh, it's back up and running. So 
of all days when it was 113 out it was not pleasant aside anyways um i did not get this running well i could have but because it was going to be so hot i'm like i can't take these plants rinse off all the dirt soil potting mix whatever put them in here between transplant shock dirt to hydro and then high triple digits or well not really high triple digit low triple digits um they wouldn't have stood a chance being out here in this heat so i said i'm gonna put them out here and kind of um get them acclimated to the heat and cilantro is not doing well it's been out here for a couple of days and i forgot the thermometer that was the whole point of this video is to play with the thermometer and show some nonsense so so in the shade 103 on the black plastic same with the plants because I ran a little bit of water in there there are 86 here in the shade but they're still not happy um, Yes, I know it's black and it's going to be extra hot, but just for giggles, 156 degrees. Concrete, 126. The white top, 112. And it's, let's see, what does the watch say? You got to do all this one handed. It's funny, you hear everybody on YouTube, oh, I got to do this one hand. It's like, now you understand what they're trying to do. All right, let's bring this up. So it says 88 up to 110. It's warmer than 88 outside, but we'll call it 88 just for argument's sake. Anyways, blue 140, 142. Because I watered these not too long ago. They're right about at 100 white bucket versus black bucket in the shade 101 and these are about eight degrees hotter and eh, not too bad it's actually balancing out yeah not so much over here now why is that bucket anyways give or take the point is it's hot um so then the only other updates i've been out here longer than i should cleaned up all the onions you can see all the weeds mostly the grass and crap clean these out give them all a haircut transplanted some I didn't transplant them all it's all the weeds from the buckets and the totes um, some of these actually they were decent and I need to cut and harvest them this week for um, for dinners or for meals whatever you want to call it um, so that's pretty much all I got accomplished because it's damn hot. Um, so give them a few days, let them get uh, reacclimated to things, and then uh, try to do a better job of keeping the weeds out and get them a little fertilizer um, in a few days. Other than that, everything else in the backyard is just, uh, you know, hot city. Added a little more dirt to this bucket and this bucket and this fig this thing needs to get transplanted if i keep it it needs to get into a bigger bucket i added more dirt um, but the roots are fairly heavy in there so whatever water i put in there it runs right out almost immediately so um, other than that the lunchbox peppers are looking really good in there and the sweet peppers little bit more shade and they're doing well also picking cherry tomatoes picking juliet grape and these appear to be sweet 100s because they are not grape tomatoes and that's the only thing that was over there so it's a couple of same couple of bleep, 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 couple tomatoes to pick and uh that's really it so that's all I got for this week. Um, like I said, I'll 
get those uh, STL files published and uh, do a real YouTube short real quick uh, and post it as soon as I get it done and uh, this silly GoPro is in the right orientation but half of the stuff is sitting the other direction so I really hope that I don't have to go in and edit and tweak this and change the orientation but other than that uh, was supposed to be a quick run but 10 minutes and some change so that's all I got and thanks for watching